it's a great idea to come farming, spend your days driving around on quad bikes, tractors, and it all seems great fun. Like every young guy, suddenly, next minute you know you've got a wife, then the next minute you've got children, and suddenly it was appearing that a hill farm was not going to generate the income that we as a family required. It's quite a lonely, uh, isolated job. I've been farming here for 20, 20, 22 years. I always look for change, not change for change's sake, but always looking to improve a situation. But I wanted to make sure that when I diversified, that it was actually a love and not because I had to do it, because then it just would have become a hassle. You wouldn't have enjoyed it. I can now sit down and create, design my pieces. It's never the attitude of, oh, that can't be done. No, that wouldn't be right. We always like to work with a project and with what a client wants. And I like a, I like a challenge. We have clients bring timber to the farm here for me to mill for them. And it's amazing when you see their reaction when suddenly there is this beautiful character timber that's come off their farm or their property. It's, it's great to see their faces. Yes, I mill timber, but I also have a love for trees. And I don't like to see a tree unnecessarily get felled without any purpose. And certainly if it has, I'd rather see it getting planked up, getting it turned, created, or used into something than just chipped or burnt. Everybody's idea of timber is different. I love the rustic character look, but somebody else may prefer the very clean edge, not free, sometimes what I call character, a joiner would call a defect. The thing is, you've got to have a goal. If you're going to go and buy a sawmill, Having that direction that you're going to take it in. I started off with the LT15, which I think is one of the most affordable sawmills that's on the market. I needed the kit that was going to do the job, and it was a good entry point. I don't want to do mass production, mass throughput. I specialize and enjoy doing the tailored projects. I think my love is with the, the small interior and exterior finishes. That's where I see the business going over the years. And that's an area that I would like to develop. I think the timber business has provided the ability to go out or have people come here it's opened up an area that I was missing. People are shocked when they see the mill, more when they see what it turns out, what it can produce. You look at the saw and people think, oh, all it is is a glorified bandsaw, but it does the job. You could quite see in their faces the, the astonishment. You know, 12 months of a lot of orders, the visual effect is just stunning. 75% of our timber that we process is oak. I've been astounded at how busy we have been. You always think, oh, it's fine, I'll do those farm jobs next month because we'll be quiet. Well, that's not happened. My wife's still waiting for endless things to be done around here. I think this area, it prides itself in its natural beauty. When you come up to North Yorkshire Moors, you don't really need any particular reason. Jane always wanted to do b, b so she altered one of the cottages for Tal's bed and breakfast. They work really well. We have, a, again, a great variety 
of guests come and stay. They love the area, they love staying on the farm, they love the fact that it's only a five minute walk into the village. When the farming has got you down for whatever reason, suddenly you can turn your aspects to timber. There is never one day is the same. And I think that's one thing that I'm very lucky to have.